Hey traders, it's Chris Vermeulen from the technicaltraders.com with another exclusive video for FX Empire talking about uh, market uh, island tops and running corrections. And this is going to uh, be really relevant to what is happening in the market. And we could see a potential big drop in the overall equities market. Now, last week I did a video posted here talking about the island top. You should probably watch that one. It's based on this big gap up on the daily chart. We had four days sideways and a big gap down. We talked about how uh, we we're going to see this some type of exhaustion pop in the move based on a Fibonacci or not, sorry, not Fibonacci, a rising wedge pattern. You get this rising wedge. They end usually very abruptly with some type of big shakeout. Usually it's a big pop in the same direction followed by a big reversal. And that came with a break of this significant pivot high. It came on news. All these things played into talking about a big reversal in the market. And that's what we saw last week along with uh, the prediction going forward of what to expect. So watch that video that I did. But let's uh, let's focus in on the shorter term time frame. Let's jump to the 30 minute chart. We are focusing, so we'll go over here, look at this price action. It may not look like too much on the daily chart, but it's very similar actually to this price action where the market gaps down, you got a, a big sell off, and really the market kind of uh, oscillates around within those three days, creating, uh, more, instead of it acting as a bear flag, a pause, and consolidating before it moves down, it does a running correction, meaning it's correcting as it's still running in the direction of the market. And that's what we're seeing right now. So let's go to the 10 minute chart and check this out. Or sorry, 30 minute chart. Uh, we'll just zoom back a little. All right, so this is the 30 minute chart. This is uh, only regular trading hours, not as the SPY, which mimics the SP 500 and regular trading hours only. So you get the price gaps. If there was futures, you'd be seeing uh, bars kind of fill these, but more or less what we're seeing uh, is this uh, big drop in the market. And then here it's oscillating. It rallies up, sells down, rallies up, sells down, rally, sell down. We've got this correction that's happening. It's a running correction. So let's just uh, throw a Fibonacci extension on here, which is the best way to get measured moves for the current momentum. I'm going to pick this high right here. Not only is it a high here, but it's previous high over here. Really, we only had one short squeeze through that level. So I'm going to go with this one because it's more conservative. I usually always go for the most conservative levels. And then we can talk about where this market ran down. Because it's a running correction, there's no easy way to pick a low and a high and using Fibonacci extensions. You got to be a little creative. Uh, to me, it seems like there's a big move down. And I feel as though this low is fairly close to this low. And because it's a running correction, I'm, I'm going to stick with this low level here. And then I'm going to consider the bounce and the rally up. We got a high here. We got a high here. We got a consolidation here. I'm going to just kind of go off this level here and click that. And that is going to paint us a, a picture of where the downside move is. Actually, let me just draw on this chart. More or less, we're looking at a move down, and then we've got an average move up, and then we're going to have a downward move, which uh, points to, uh, to lower prices. So let's just zoom out on this chart a bit. And you can see the downside potential whoops, get rid of that, the downside potential move on uh, on this chart. You can see if we grab the price action and draw on these lines, we've got the sell-off, you've got the average rebound, and then we've got the 618, and then potentially 100% measured move down to the 282, um, which we could, we could actually pull this up on the futures. I know most of you probably look at the futures chart. Obviously, this does not show... Um, the regular trading hours is showing full futures, but we go from more or less a high here. We pick somewhere down around this low area, and then we came back up to somewhere over here. And let's just squish this down. And this is the downside potential target for the SP 500. We could see this really pick up speed here if this running correction plays out. So we sold off on average, and then we came up on average. We've got the 618, and then potentially a panic waterfall sell-off to the 2785. Again, the SPY really shows this clearly because the futures chart actually kind of masks things with uh, overnight trading and how they move the market. During regular trading hours, this is when the real volume trades, uh, big volume. And so it's this kind of running correction, this average price here, it's ping-ponging around 
as the uh, people are trying to accumulate, but there's still big distribution going on. On average, it still can't hold its ground. It gets sold off and then you get the retail buyers and people accumulating, buying on these big moves to the downside. But on average, it's still under pressure and making lower lows. And it is starting to create a falling wedge, which uh, if it continues to squeeze, we could see an exhaustion drop to hit our measured move down at the lower end of this level and followed by a strong reversal. But overall, this running correction is pointing to uh, lower prices at this point. And when you look at the upper end of this range, we're, we're pretty much came up to that this morning. Maybe it's going to go higher, maybe trade sideways a little more. But overall, this is where sellers should start to step in. And if you look at the volume too, the volume gives you a good indication of of what's going on. We've got a rising volume during the majority of the selling that really took place all the way uh, over to here. And then uh, we had a kind of a sideways day. It doesn't look like it, but the market closed slightly higher. And today as prices is, is rallying up to this kind of resistance level, uh, price, volume is fading off. So there's fewer buyers, still strong volume, but overall it's starting to look and feel like it's at the upper end of this range and it could come down and maybe it's ping pongs around a bit more, could create more of a falling wedge. And then we get that exhaustion potential island bottom down here and some type of reversal after that. We just have to see how it's going to play out. But running corrections, really tough uh, to spot if you don't break down into the intraday charts and focus on just the uh, regular trading hours. Anyways, hope that gives you some insight. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.